preparation for our departure, we hired a local diver to inspect our sail drives and our sinks. The diver completed the inspection. He rattled the sail drives, checked the sinks. Everything looks like we're good for departure. Well, we just visited our most favorite store, West Marine. What did we get, Patrick? So, some additional fenders for the boat to adapt to my docking abilities. <laughs> so, we figured we'd put some on both sides of the boat from now on after our last high wind docking. So, four for the left and four for the right. So, so total of eight big fenders. Um, New pump for the dinghy. The old pump is missing the adapter that plugs into the dinghy. Okay, so we're gonna replace these fenders that we bought down in Fort Lauderdale, these long rectangular black ones. They seem to catch the wind whenever it's windy and they just blow way up above the boat, above the dock, and they're not so useful in high winds. Even though they look like they're a great cushy spot for the boat, when it gets windy, these fenders just tend to catch wind and blow up so we're going to replace them with some of these circular ones we're cutting ropes inside right now and replacing them one by one After adding the additional fenders to the boat, Patrick and I decided to check out the food truck festival in downtown Brunswick. After enjoying lobster and crab dogs for lunch, we decided to take Squirt for a run at the dog park. Well, Patrick, that was your last meal out before we depart. <laughs> How was it? Delicious. <laughs> what did you have? We had the Pacific Rim pizza at the Mellow Mushroom and uh, some bruschetta as an appetizer. The bruschetta was fabulous. That it was. And we're looking at departing on Monday? Monday or Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> and so we're gonna jump from Brunswick down to Fernandina, correct? Yeah, that's the plan, but we'll just see when we get out there. If it's, if it's too rough, then we can just come in at Jekyll and then ride the intercoastal down. But ideally, it'd be faster to just stay out and go back in at Fernandina. Sweet, are you excited? Excited, finally moving the boat. Out of here. <laughs> no more Groundhog Day. No more Groundhog Day. <laughs> As we're wrapping up our stay here at Brunswick Landing Marina, here is our beautiful sunset tonight. Good morning, sleepyhead. <laughs> oh, I got two little noses. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, sleepyheads. You say good morning, squirt. <laughs> <laughs> Time to get up. Mr. Mark's coming. It's time to do some electrical today. <laughs> Don't sound too excited. <laughs> well, Abby and I have spent the last six, seven hours um, getting boat provisions uh, for us to set off on Monday. And now we got to figure out where to store everything. We've got bags everywhere. 
we spent probably an hour or so at the laundromat um, washing all comforters and the bulky items that's impossible to do on the boat. Abby, what did you think about provisioning? It's a lot of work. <laughs> Are you wore out? Yeah. I am too. Now the fun get, begins. Now we got to label these cans, pull off the cushions. You're, are you ready for that? I am. I wonder what mom and dad's gonna think about all the funny labels I put on their cans. Okay, as you can see, the bulk of my storage is underneath the seats in our salon. So I got some space here. Little space there. And I had a good selection of vegetables, but I know we're gonna start burning through these quickly since we're not taking fresh items, which I hate. Um, they just don't last on the boat. We, we, you know, they might last a day or two. So sadly, we're gonna try to eat healthy by using some canned vegetables. And of course, having some enchiladas at some point. So now the goal is to get all of this. underneath this. All right, I played Tetris and this thing is stuffed in here. There's all kinds of meat, oops. Whoop. Sorry folks. That thing is full all the way to the back. Second section completely full. I could put a little something right here or here. And the top of my freezer, I think Squirt needs some more ice cream and there's a spot for it. Now time for the refrigerator. Well, it's a good thing I didn't buy too much for the refrigerator because once again, we're limited on space, so let me see what I can do. Everything nicely fit. And as you can tell on the middle shelf, that's probably um, two or three stacks all the way back of nothing but cheese. Different cheeses. Anyone that knows Squirt, he requires cheese on everything he eats. He doesn't eat dog food. We have to cook him everything. Um, so we've got a lot of cheese. You would think the dog would be constipated, but he goes to the bathroom daily. If I didn't have to have that much cheese, then I could probably have had one more extra coffee creamer. So after a long day of shopping, Abby decided to stay with us on the boat tonight. So excited. Love to have her. She's turning 23 on Monday. I'm getting old. And she did my nails tonight. Oh, and they match my shirt. How cool. Since Abby spent the night with us, we took her to lunch to celebrate her birthday. For watching and we hope you enjoyed our show if so please like share and subscribe to our channel subscribing is free and a great way to show us your support have comments for us please drop us a line we love to receive feedback